What is going on everyone? Today I have this $3,180 mystery box from a sneaker store in, I think, New York. I did a video on them a few weeks ago. This is from Back of the Closet. And you can see there's two extra large boxes in here. He said it would have a mixed variety of new and used, but like 90% of the shoes would be DS and around 20% ROI. So that sounded good to me. I told him that when I get used shoes, I kind of undervalued them by a lot. Since it doesn't sell too well for me, he understood. So, I mean, hopefully we're on the same page for those. But anyways, I'm going to get the first box open. And let's see what's in this. All right, here we go. Just got it cut open. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I see a good shoe right away. That might be used, though. If that's DS, then, I mean, even better. But kind of feel like that'll be used. But here's how the first box looks. Let's go straight with it. You see the box is a little dirty. There's some like wet stains but it's a size 11 jordan 3 you guys could probably already tell what it is and yep it's gonna be used but still a good shoe there's a red stain right there there's some creasing all around so not in the best condition but yeah more stains bottoms not as dirty as i thought it'd be some heel drag though, some star loss. So this shoe is probably like a seven, six out of 10 condition. I could probably wipe that red stain off, but the creases is pretty bad. Let's look at the other shoe real quick. Yeah, the bottoms aren't that dirty, but I mean the creases, stains, but I mean, yeah guys, this is gonna be the first shoe overall, the used pair of these UNC Jordan 3s. You see more stains in the back than I didn't notice at first. And a brand new pair in a size 11 going for 420. In that condition, there's heel drag, star loss, stains all around, bad creases. I kind of feel like around 200 is a fair price. I don't know if that's too low or not, but I don't know. They are pretty beat up. So I'll just put in 200 for now, see what I could do with them, but... I don't know. I don't think that's a bad price. Let's move on, though. There's a lot of shoes here in the first one. And then still have the second one to go. Easy 350 right here in a size 11 and a half. The box is a little beat up. But it's going to be a good Yeezy. The Zebras. Here they are. And this one's brand new. So a good Yeezy right here. I'm pretty sure these are around 300. In a size 11 and a half. Going for 325. So that's a pretty good amount so 525 first two shoes i'm just gonna go with all the yeezys first before i get into anything else yeezy 500 size 11 and a half i think i already read the name oh no i didn't so these are different what are these so here's what it's called it's like a pinkish purplish colorway i've never seen that for these yeezys before i kind of like them honestly i'm not a big fan of 500 but I don't know, I just, something about this colorway, I kind of like, but, let me see, these, I don't think they're used just because of how the laces are, it's a sneaker store, so that could just be from sitting on shelves, possibly tried on, I don't know, but, or actually, let's just say lightly used, so a lightly used pair of these Yeezy 500s, but super clean, let's see what they're going for. And those 500s is called the Yeezy 500 Soft Vision. There's a big difference between ask and bid. Last sale was 460. Other recent sales. I mean, it's kind of all over the place. They don't sell too often. Like the last sale was in 2023. So I don't want to mark it too high. Um, I don't know. I think like 380 is a fair price for VNDS. Kind of feel like that might be too high. But like I said, we're going to see. Let's move on. Here's the last Yeezy from the first box. The Yeezy 350 in a size 9. And it's going to be the glow colorway. So I've actually gotten this once in the past. It took forever to sell. But yeah, still a good shoe. I don't know why the camera changes colors with this. But yeah, here's the next shoe though. In those size nines for those Yeezys, here's what market is. I'm just gonna mark it a little under just because there's a the big difference. And like I said, it was a little more difficult for me to sell. Last sell was 440, which is in between, so that's what I'll mark it at. 440. I'll just add in five to make it an even 1350. 
with these four shoes so far so not that bad of a start i know it's kind of hard to price some of the shoes but i think either way it's still not bad here's the next one though i dunk low on a size 10 and a half these are gonna be the fruity pebbles i haven't got this shoe in a while but i actually really like these they're brand new you can see the fruity pebble on the shoelaces the tongue the insole really creative shoe in a size 10 and a half for the fruity pebbles just gonna round it up a dollar to 150 to make this an even 1500 so far after those let's go with the supreme excuse me a van supreme if it's the same shoe i'm thinking of then it's gonna be all bad because i don't really like those and they're hard to sell okay so it's different size 12 men's so these aren't too bad of a too bad looking at all compared to the other one i was thinking of but decent colorway you can see the supreme on the back so this is actually a decent shoe right here in a size 12 right now i'm gonna market the last sell which was 130 so just 20 dollars under ask 130 for that 1630 so i think i'm about halfway so far from the price that i paid i still have a lot more shoes to go here's an air trainer one in a size 10 so i don't get air trainers too often what's gonna be this black and yellow colorway never seen these before but pretty sure they're brand new since the stock x tag is still on in a size 10 another kind of weird market i feel like this is gonna be another shoe that's gonna be harder to sell Recent sales actually look pretty good, which is pretty surprising to me. And then I do see a lot, like, a lot around the 120 range. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to market at 120. Puts me at 1750. With four shoes to go here in the first box. An Air Force One, size 9 right here. And it's going to be just kind of like Hall Halloween Air Force. They are brand new. I think this is the one that glows in the dark. You put a UV light on it. I don't know for sure, but it's a, for Halloween, this is definitely a cool shoe to wear. And they don't go for much. A size 9 going for 100. Pretty sure that's basically retail. It was actually lower than retail. Retail is 130. But 100 for that, 1850. Eight shoes in. Let's go with this. I think it's going to be a Sakai low waffle or just a low waffle size 12. So let's see which colorway this is. Here they are. I've gotten this a couple times in the past. It's a decent colorway. They don't, they didn't move fast, but at least, yeah, at least they're brand new. Has the eBay tag on it. In a size 12, they're at 160. So 160 for that, 2010. So pretty much 2000 with the nine shoes so far. Let's get this going. Two more shoes here in the first box and then we're gonna get to the second box. This one already fell out. This shoe doesn't go for much, but in the past they've moved pretty well. It's a size 12, the Jordan 1 Bordeaux. It's a decent colorway. It's like a dark red, like a maroon colorway. In a size 12 for those, they're going for 125. So 125, 21, 35. One more shoe to go. So it, so 11 pairs in total from this first box. This is a Dunk Low in a size 7 men's, not a 7 youth. And they're going to be the Valentine Day, Valentine's Day Dunks. Don't think these go for much. They might be like around 100, 120. But still a decent colorway. Yeah, size 7 men's actually goes for a pretty high amount. They're at, once this focuses, 150 So a little more than what I thought, but 150 for that, that puts me at 2285 with 11 shoes. So I already went ahead, opened the second box. Let's take a look at this. I already see a few Yeezys to start off. But here's how this one looks. A couple of Yeezy 500s actually. And then I think this might be a note in some kind of envelope. We'll look at that, see if there's anything inside. But here's the shoe. This is going to be a size seven. 
I already read the name on it, but Yeezy 500 Salt. Here they are. Okay, these are used actually. So a used pair of these. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell these for much, but the uppers are pretty clean. It's just the bottoms are a bit dirty. In a size seven for those, that's what market is. That being used, the bottoms are a, lot, a little dirty. I don't wanna market more than highest bid. I'm gonna market at like 180. So that's gonna put me at 24.65. So I think that's only the second used shoe or third. That one I'm still questionable about, but and not, like, I, like he said, not that many used pairs. Here's the next Yeezy 500 though, in a size 11 and a half. Here they are, it's another, yep, another used one. So yeah, so far all the Yeezy 500s have been used. But, I mean, they're still clean. The uppers is for sure super clean. It's just the bottoms that are a bit dirty for these, just like the other one. In a size 11 and a half, there's a big difference between asking and bid, but all the other sizes go for about 270, 240. So I would say branded pair goes for like 250. Um, that being used, I'm gonna mark it at like 175. So that's what my total is. <sighs> Eight more shoes to go. I'm just gonna go with all the Yeezys again. Another Yeezy 500, size 10. So let's see if this one's used. Just like the other Yeezy 500s. I see the tag still on for it. So looks like a... I don't know, the bottoms are still dirty though, and there's a rock in it. But that just doesn't make sense since the tag is still on. But even this one's a bit dirty as well. Um Yeah, I don't know. It's kinda of hard. The lace the way the laces look, I mean it doesn't even look like it's been tried on or anything. So I don't know how like a rock gets inside, how the bottoms like I can understand the bottoms getting dirty from sitting on the shelves, but how do the rocks get in it? But still, I'm going to say brand new just because the uppers are super like perfect. The way the laces are, I'm just going to wipe that off later on. So a brand new pair right here. And a size 10 for those. I'm going to mark it at 210. Which puts me at 28.50. So I'm still about 300 something away from what I paid. With still a good amount of shoes left though, so that's good. I think... This might just be like a protection thing. I don't know if there's actually anything inside. Oh yeah, there is. So we'll look at that at the end. Yeezy 500 right here in a size 10 and a half. And here they are. Here's how it looks, by the way, with no flash. It's a nice looking Yeezy 350. And a size 10 and a half for those. Just gonna round it up a dollar to 270, which puts me over 3,000. Exactly 3120. 15 shoes in with six more shoes to go. So 21 pairs in total. I'm going to go with this because I already know what shoe this is going to be. It's a size 11 and a half and it's a nice looking Jordan 4. Oh, the Jordan 4 Craft. Here it is. And they're brand new. And the 11 and a half, going to mark it at 240. So with 240, that puts me over the price I paid so far. So that's already better than the PVO kicks box. So shout out to this sneaker store. <laughs> well, let's move on. Five shoes left. I already know what shoe this is. And it's a huge size, size 14 on this one. But it's gonna be the UNC toe, Jordan 1s. A shoe that surprisingly doesn't go for that much, but another brand new Jordan right here. And a size 14 for those, they're at 195. So with that, that's what I'm at. Let's finish off this video with the last four shoes. I'm gonna say that for last, that's a Kobe shoe. So let's go with this, a Nike Low Waffle, size 13. And it's going to be the Sakai colorway. So I actually think these might be going for a decent amount. But here's the shoe though. It's a decent colorway, brand new. In size 13, there's surprisingly a big difference. I don't remember it being like that. Last sales look pretty good though. So I'm just gonna mark it the last sale, which was 245, which puts me at 3,800. So that's already 
really good profit and i still have three more shoes to go i'm gonna try not to look at that it slid open uh, might as well just take it out now but here it is the i think most recent kobe release just an all black colorway for their kobe eights i believe or kobe sixes kobe fours i don't know i think it's kobe four but yeah i think the market's around 350 on them it's Kobe 4, Gift of Mamba, size 11, going for 330. So that puts me over 4,000 already. Dang, I still have two more shoes to go. So I think some of the used shoes, I priced it too high. <laughs> I kind of felt bad because I thought I was lowballing, but apparently not. Let's finish this. Size 8, men's. New balance right here. Cool looking box. And here it is. Never seen these before. Don't know if this is a more recent release or not. It's a New Balance 998. So a size 8 for those. Market. I mean, the picture isn't popping up for some reason, but it's the same exact skew. And a size 8, that's what market is. A big difference again. Last I was 310. I'm just going to mark it a little under at like, I don't know, 300. So 4430 with those. Let's get into the last shoe. Size 9.5 Dunk Low. And it is the Georgetown Dunk. So another good one. These go for over 200 for sure. That's going to put this box to crazy profit. So yeah, let's look it up. Let's see what's going for. And then let's take a look at the note because I want to see what his total came out to. And in a size nine and a half for the Georgetowns, they're going for about 210. So with 210, everything adds up to 20. I mean, what the 4640? For this 3000 I think $180 box from back of the closet. If I could get the prices I said, that would be... Typed it in wrong. $1460 in profit, which would be... Dang, 45, close to 46% ROI. So, yeah, let's take a look at this price sheet because there might have been some shoes I overpriced. But here's how it looks. I'm going to go through it, you know, off camera, but... Here's the front side, and then here's the back side. And like he said, they're a sneaker shop. The issues do get tried on. Some might have marks on bottoms. So that's crazy how much profit this came out to. So again, shout out to them. They even put their card right here back at the closet. And I'll have an Instagram or I'll have a picture of their Instagram up right now so you guys can check them out. Go shoot them a follow, guys. They even messaged me saying they saw the PVO Kicks video. And they didn't want to do the same thing they did, so... Shout out to them for hooking me up with this box. But let me see your guys' opinions down in the comment section below. What would you guys rate this box out of 10? And comment your favorite shoe. I'd probably have to go with either the Fruity Pebbles or the UNC Jordan 3s. And remember, if you ever want to buy any of these off me, just hit me up on Instagram. It's jcresales559. Same exact name as my YouTube name. But it's been a long video. I'm going to wrap it up right now. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on the video. Share this video, and I'll see you guys next time. I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresales559, same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle.